BBC Young Reporter column. Today we'll be talking about mental health, how to stay positive and the dangers of how social media can affect pe young people's mental health. There's a lot in the press about this issue. If you are feeling like you need to talk, there's always someone you can talk to. You definitely shouldn't keep it to yourself. Sports will leave day later this week is a big focus, focus on mental health. Young people can face a lot of stress and pressure in their daily life. Up first is Report Early on the case to talk about online effects. Hello, my name is Ellie, and today I'm going to talk about how, a, how going online can affect your mental health. A lot of teenagers love social media, Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat. However, it can be very dangerous because people don't follow the rules. Rules are there for safety. People only show their best life online, which may lead to people feeling depressed and their lives are not as good as what you see online. In the, in the worst cases, there has been reports of young people taking their own lives of, because of social media pressure. No one should get to this stage. News team member Ashton says, in my opinion, social media should be over 16s, and there, there is a lot of cyberbullying happening on social media, and it's not good for younger people. What is your role in supporting mental health in our school? Well, my role is to listen to people and provide a nice, safe, quiet room that people can come to when they're upset or having problems in school. That's my job. Could you give me any thoughts on the fact that social media and social media influencers have a huge part of playing with young people and teenagers' mental health? Well, I think that's true. I think people spend, really, these days far too much time on social media. And I don't think it's necessarily a good thing. You can learn an awful lot from social media, but you can get very upset by it sometimes as well. And some people spend far too much time looking at um, I, I, articles and items that aren't very good for their mental health and that get them very worried. And then they spend a lot of time worrying about things. And then they come and see me in the morning. What would be the one piece of advice you'd give to someone who is struggling? I think if someone's struggling, the really, really important piece of advice, this is very important, is that you talk to someone. It doesn't have to be me, it could be a friend, it could be someone in your family, it can be me, it could be your head of house, but tell somebody because there is help available, there's always help available, and someone will listen. That's very, very important. Thank you. This has been BBC Young Reporter, Charlie. I'm Ashton and I'm going to talk to you about tips on how to stay positive as well as making you fun. Here are some things that I know that can help you and others to be more positive. In my primary school, I had a worry monster. You write your worries on a bit of paper and feed it to the monster and he eats your worries. Mrs Bird, who leads the news team, has a positivity job. She has a jar and she has little bits of paper of positive things that she's done. She can look at them at any time when she needs a positivity boost. However, just having time to yourself is the best because you can let yourself be free. There are many apps that can help you too. Here are some quotes from our news team. Think positive. It's okay to be you. And this is BBC Young Re Reporter Ashton signing out. Hi, I'm Charlie and I'm here with Mrs Oakman. What are your opinions on mental health and how important it is to stay positive? Uh, I think it's really important. Mental health is at the forefront of everything at the minute. I don't think people think about their own mental health enough. But I think the key word in that question was positive and that um, everybody needs to think about life in a more positive way. Um, that they stop focusing on the negatives every day, and then it will. And as far as I'm uh, found myself, change their life. Also, what are you doing to help yourself and others to stay positive? We've heard some rumours. Um, on February the 1st, I decided that I wanted to do something for myself, that I wanted to set up a um, 
routine where every single day I would look at three positives at the end of every day. Um, but I decided that I didn't want to do that alone and I thought if I maybe encourage others to get on board that they would take part in it as well and thankfully they did. Um, but I created a Facebook group which basically allows people in a safe space with no negativity at all since the only rule is banned um, to post three positives every single day. Um, and it's been really effective. A lot of people took part and we've had over 600 posts in February that are all positive. Thank you.